greetings omo biafra oh hey biafra you know all gathering the biafra nama it shall be well with us it shall be well with the lovers of biafrans and the biafran people it has been long i have not shown my face like this you know <laughs> and uh, i keep on uh, operating from one program to the other program to the other program you know <laughs> Okay, um, my people, do you know what? Um, if you can remember what happened during the parable of Jesus Christ after he was killed and buried, and um, the parable by that time made us understand that a lot of people um. Okay, um, I will come to that later. So the parable of Jesus Christ made us understand by that time that um, after the death of Christ, you know, his disciples now run to a room, close their door. They were afraid to go out to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ. You know, they were marvel. They were so afraid until on a good day, he said that the spirit of Jesus Christ paid them a visit. Is it not so? And they move out and start breaking doors because they know that their God liveth. You know what? Not because our leader is nowhere to be found. No matter wherever he is, he can only be happy if he listen and hear that People are following the full step to continue the message, to lecture, teach, motivate, and encourage our people to go out and continue the fight. You know? Now, we does not care where he is. You know, we have to focus on what we believe on. What do we believe on? We believe on one thing. And what is that? The restoration the re-establishment of our territory. I keep on showing you videos since some days now, and I believe that most of you are learning from those videos, picking some points. Even the one of Ojo Zocalo. I know why the one I showed you that day, I put Obama, his speech in Egypt, you know? I know why I keep on changing. I know why I put Abiola, you know? And later, I put the history of the current president during the time of his past tenure. I believe that most of you picked a lot of points and understand me where I'm going to. Now, let me start with this. I am the owner and the establisher and the brand behind Miro African Television. And I did not start this television to say it's my property, it's mine, it's this one, it's that one. No, I need people like you. I need our people out there. I will give you a um, 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 streaming key wherever you want to broadcast from so that you will be able to operate from no borders. You know, that is Miro Africa for you. And all Africans are welcome to Miro Africa, not only for Nigerians, not only for Biafra, but Miro Africa stands for the self-determination of the indigenous people wherever you find your child within africa so those narrating the news that miro Afri africa was established by bide human rights and uh, bide is paying me to do what no do you know what we fail to understand my people i have a lot of message for you today and i must feed you up with those message on this planet the country where i am living now i have been learning a lot of things from them and the, this country is like university you learn every blessed day do you know what if you look around you and see your enemies you see your enemies and then you know that these people doesn't like you they want to do away with you how do you think you will be able to neutralize every dark or bad plan they have against you you cannot neutralize it by distancing yourself from them. Because if you distance yourself from them, you will never be able to figure out the strategies they use to pin you down. But if you start associating with them, moving around with them, 
playing with them, you will be able to figure how they breathe, how their body language moves when they think evil. Then you will be able to keep on neutralizing what they are doing. Today, are we not agitating? And most of you agitating are also participating in Nigerian election, participating in the campaign of so-called Nigerian governors in Anambra State. But you are agitating for your own freedom. Still, you are operating with them. It, I will not, if you, with your senses, I will never be against you. If you think like me, to know, to go in, to become the eyes of the Biafrans inside the inner cacus of no-go area traffic, no-go areas, you know? That would be nice. But if you are doing it because you want to feed your stomach, you want to um, get two naira out of it, and sell your soul, then you are the most non-entity, the most foolish man on planet. Know it today, no matter your brain, no matter your certificate, you are nobody. You understand? But operating with a hidden agenda, working like a spy. Do you know before we watch films, how spies works, how they do, how, how, how um, uh, uh, MacGyver, one person will kill the whole village, destroy the whole army barracks, and no bullet will touch him. Then I will be with you. Because he will go there, bring out Inakaku's blueprint of their strategy and feed the Biafran people so that we'll be able to change whatever we are doing to be able to actualize what we are, what we are looking for. Today, somebody just called me just, just a while ago. You know, he, he gave me a hint of what is going on in Anambra State. And that is what our people should be doing. Calling us, giving us hint on the ground, nobody will call your name, don't mention your identity. But give us the information we need to reason, do some mathematics on it, and know where the, these guys are trying, what they are trying to do. That will help the Biafra to be able to succeed. All hell Biafra. All hell Biafra. If you have been with Biafra, if I said all hell Biafra, write it, or you click like, that is all hell Biafra for you. So what I'm what the what the message that just came in says the people campaigning for Biano and those trying to participate in Anambra State election has developed another fake news lies. You know, they are telling you that um, United Nations is this, that, that, that. Now the Nigerian politicians, you know that these guys are so corrupt that they know how to utilize everything you are doing to succeed themselves into that position. But we can only succeed as Biafrans if you know why you have been suffering that your brothers have been killed from Anambra State to Potako, Tomwaya, Aba, every corner. You are boys, you are people, you are friends, you are wishers, you are indigenous people are being massacred. If you remember that, please, Carry that secret file, read it or use your phone, snap all their strategy, send it to us, don't do it public, so that we'll be able to know how to construct it. Good. They are now feeding Anambra State people that United Nations want Biafra to succeed. Did you hear it? You know, in the world of um, um, manipulation, psycho um, manipulation, they will use that thing you love so much. It will be at the front and at the back. But the main package will be at the middle. And what your brain wants to hear is freedom. The other one will just fly over. And the other one, but the one that is flying over, your brain will pick it, but you will not register it. It's there. It passed from your eyes. You know, They say that United Nations want Biafra to succeed. And them, the politicians, are working with you or on behalf of you, talking on behalf of you to United Nations. But United Nations now made them to understand that if Biafra want to succeed, this is the latest news now, if Biafra want to succeed, they need to at least raise the vote of up to 36%. Or forty percent on election day. <laughs> this news 
most of you that are doing buying and selling in Nigeria may confirm it. I heard that this news is spreading all the whole market area that United Nations have said for Biafra to go, they need to prove that they want to go by raising their voting rate got to reach up to 50 something percent or more. <clears throat> Thank you, my brother. If you are listening in, the guy that brought in this message, you know. Um, look, United Nations, let me tell you people, the way self-determination works. Self-determination, if you activate it, no country will love to give it to you. But they have started killing the Biafrans. You know, now the Carlos set a trap and these guys fall into that trap, really. Now the world are watching Nigeria very well. I'm watching you, the Biafran people, claiming that you want to be free. What are they watching? Adela Hakanada. They are watching you people. If you will participate, you know what? The worst thing that can happen to a man, you call you do call Nigeria Zoo. All of us call Nigeria Zoo. You call Nigeria animal. You call them whatever. It is only animal that will vomit out food and eat it back. If human beings vomit, they're not there. To tamp, even come near, even somebody else will clear it for them. They will not even come near. But the evil people are now vomiting and eating their their shit that they just vomited out. And United Nations want to see you that is crying that Nigeria is killing you if you are going to participate in the election of Nigeria. Do you want Biafra? <laughs> oh, you bo? International community don't carry hand, put for job. They watch election don't reach an Ambra state. Let's see what will happen. Nam the Kalu tell them that our people want to go. Okay, and Nigeria doesn't want to give a referendum. The other part of referendum that we may experience from Nigeria is to see whether they will participate in election. <laughs> you cannot eat your cake and have it back. Oh. Now we are talking about election. Obiano and all the groups that came out to contest for election in Anambra State. Look at Anambra State. Anambra State does work like uh, um, the Japanese of Nigeria. Because there they do all copy, copy of papers and other things. Copy is not crime. Copy will teach you how to start. That is your laying foundation of your technology. Transferring technology from the white man to the black people. But look at Anambra State today. Does Anambra look like people that produce nail? Nigeria as a country never produced toothpick. But Anambra State does produce papers you will mount in your motor and that vehicle will move. At least you may drive that vehicle up to minimum one year before any headache. To show you they are improving. But look at Anambra State. Some people don't send me pictures. You know, I do see Nigerian film actors doing um, um campaign for the governor, showing you flu station, men looking at this place, filling station. Do you think that this place is Nigeria? No, it's Anambra State. I ask Anambra people, I challenge them, go to your villages and snap the areas that erosion have destroyed. People are now climbing on top of palm tree to cross over. They have governors. They get allocations. He's building airport. He's building whatever. At the end of the day, they will turn to local, local, local. All that we have in Eastern region is local airport. They, they will tell you, come and vote for me. What is voting? What is voting is the question that every Nigerian, not only the Igbos, every Nigerian will understand what is come and vote for me. Means, ah, uh, let me, what will I use now? Let me use this pen. This pen is like the symbol of authority in your family, the symbol of authority. And I said, come and vote for me. Voting for you is the only, the best way to make you to look so, take it as normal something without 
thinking evil or without having any second thought, you will go and vote. Voting is like taking the symbol of authority that is in your family, handing it over to the governor of the state. That is, they say that the mandate of the people. The, 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 your sovereignty, you are handing your sovereignty to somebody like me, Miro Africa, that I should start as from today till the next four years. I will think for you, I will care for you, I will kill you, I will save you, I will siphon you, I will make you poor, I will make you rich. That is what you are handing over on that thing that you have given your fingerprint. Piam, you are handing over your freedom, sovereignty. The tot Look, if, if a governor kill your child with his vehicle, does he go to prison? Do any court charge him? Have you asked yourself why? Because you gave him the mandate to care for you. You gave him your sovereignty. You gave him your freedom. You gave him your thinking to think for you. That is why at the end of the day, you can't do them anything. They will do away with all the billions they have siphoned from you and go away with it. Because who gave them that mandate is you and I. But you can regain your freedom now. Let me give you one example, my people. These people, governors of Anambra State, the governor of Anambra State, need your mandate. Is it not true? That mandate that he needs now, you have not handed him over that mandate. And he has brought in Operation Cobra Dance to kill you. He had brought in croco Crocodile Smile to crush you. What will happen if you give him that mandate? What will he do? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Even, he's even telling people that if you want admission, you got to show your voter's card. You got to prove that you vote on that day. Pressing their citizens. Slapping you to collect your freedom. Boxing you to hand them over your sovereignty. That is the meaning of what they are doing. Do they have right to do it? Yes, they have right to do it. They have right to bust your teeth out of your mouth so that you will go and vote for them. Why must they do that? Because Nigeria has no law. A country where court will grant somebody bail, give him every freedom to enjoy until they find him guilty. Police is there. <laughs> Defense uh, um, um, civil defense are there. Do, if, all of them are there. Which people went in to show that there is no law in that nation are the military. Men listen to Ojo Zokal. Ojo Zokal said, I meet military chiefs and we have meeting with the leaders of Eastern region. Then they now send in the people to subdue you. But my people, they are not subduing you. They are doing their work. Nigeria is their territory. Wherever a military man finds himself in Nigeria, he's, he has every right to be there as a military man. And do you have right to be there? It is your village. You have right to be there. But they have declared state of emergency to reduce your freedom. I will use this opportunity to plead to every Easterner. If there is oppression, whatever, by the military in your state, please don't confront them. The peace that military understand in his brain is when you lied with that breath in your stomach. He has put in peace in that area. Because if you send police to go and put peace, Good police will use tear gas, water cannon, rubber bullets to put peace. But if you send military to go and put peace, they will carry AK-47 loaded with live ammunition. Immediately they target your brain and you lie down. Peace have run 
Are you shouting again? Can you make move? No, you are lying down. That is the military have put in peace. So <laughs> run away from the area wherever they are operating. Please give a stay away. Because a good soldier and a strong soldier and the bravest soldier is the soldier that fight, run away, and come back and fight again. You understand? If you say to your chest, you are not well trained, even though you have a able training. You are not well trained. You don't have anything that will protect you from their um, uh, um, ballistic uh, um, um, we um, weapon. Um, um, please, the only answer to their operation, whatever, is stay away from the road. Even though you boys are protesting, military comes in. Dissolve yourself. Enter to all the whole Kai Kai quarters way around you. They there, they drink Kai Kai. They will stay small, they will go, and you continue your business. Don't confront them. But to punish those that invited them, you can punish them. You can punish these, these governors that are claiming to be untouchable now. You can give them a powerful knock. How do you do that? Don't choose who to vote in. Don't choose. They are not for you. Ojus Okalo said it. He was brought up by a Fulani, by Fulani people. I am proud of that man. Do you know why I'm proud of Ojus Okalo? He is the only Igbo man that is proud and buoyant enough to make you not, for you not to look like Sisho, sick human being. Because you keep on calling them Hausa um, 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 Igbo people that they, they have collected. But now he has come out to make you to understand I make my money. I was brought up, trained, and coached and do everything by the Fulanese. Did the Okorocha told you such thing? The Okorocha said only that I grew up among them. But Okorocha passed through these people. I keep on telling you, all the governors in Eastern region, all the let me use all the governors for now that are millionaires in Eastern region that are ruling you and the ones that are coming to rule you, all of them are from the Hausa Fulanis. They are being trained. I do tell you, people, if you are not a Muslim or let, let me let me put it this way, not using Muslim. All these people are from North, and they before a Northerner will trust you to go and take care of his investment in Eastern region, it then means you are one of them. Being one of them, you may you may be part of their religion. Yes, it's among the what prove to them that you are loyal to their to their authority, you know. And all Josokalu said it all. He said it all. Now, the, the, the man that is trying to compete with the Obiano in Anambra, he went to his emirs and made them to understand, I will be a loyal servant to that position. Let's face the fact. And listen, it's not the Northerners that are voting them in. You, know. you will see, mm, they will know that they, their masters are Northerners. And you will still go and stand behind them and vote them in. Tomorrow, if they touch your good, you will start shouting. But now, all Jesus has made it that all of us are our made property. Why can't you now choose that guy from your village that you know that he has nothing? He has no money to give you. He has nothing to offer you. He has no bag of rice to give you. But if you remember the future of your family, the future of your children, the freedom of your entire territory, community, you choose him. You choose him and reject money back people. Another thing I would like to add here, if you like it, you get annoyed though. If you like, you like me. If you like, you doesn't like me. I have to tell you the simple truth. In Igbo land, let me not use Eastern region, because if I use the Eastern region, I may be exaggerating. In Igbo land, the problem we are having in Igbo land since after the war is Anambra State and Enugu State. These two people. Not the citizens. 
not the citizens. Citizens, everyone that can have the other. You know, these two states are the most sick state in Biafra land. Enugu state, we are we are talking about like, um, Hesman, right? Enugu have married into Awosa land. They have intermarried themselves and mix. Enugu state now, even one right of hand go not, the other one go Billy side. All of them have inter integrated into Nigeria more than the old Imo state. I use the word old as Imo and Abia state. Anambra state, Chineke. Anambra believe on one Nigeria more than any other person. They keep on torpedoing every plan that we have in our area. You may hate me, you may like me, but it's the fact. If you go and read their history, they say that when Ojuku was talking about Biafran issue, as Imo stayed where today, as they just like this, they look you. That is how Imo stays was that day. When Nigeria declared war on Biafra, Imo state people were like this looking. Until Nigeria started taking lives of Biafrans, and the, the history made me to understand that the people that battled that war, the people that battled Nigeria for three good years, 75% of them are Imo state people, old Imo. They battled Nigeria to Nigeria. No, the Obasa just said it clear. They nearly lost that war. If at all, Anambara and Enugu throw their weight behind the Igbos, as it's supposed to be. Here we are now, what we are saying now, we won't, there will be nothing like this rubbish. And Ojuku lose that war. The international community, we are look, calling, calling Nam the Azikiwe. What do you think? What Nam they need to do is to tell them, recognize Biafra. Nam the Azikiwe did not do it. Nam the Azikiwe seated on the freedom of Biafra until he died. Upon he sell our freedom to the other part of Nigerians in the name of fighting one Nigeria. After that's what the history told me. Nigeria deprived you from reading those things. Nigeria hide it away from you. But I have to tell you the truth. Ojuku Zeke made it clear to Ojuku's father that you because Ojuku's father said, My son got to grow up and read you. And Zeke marked that word. Mark that word. <laughs> you know what then? One problem that Igbo people has. This this um, um grudges. Igbo people keep Igbo man will not build a, uh, build a bank in his family. But Igbo man will dig hole and build bank to bank grudges, different types of grudges against his fellow friend, enemy, friend, brother, whatever, packing grudges. Is this grudge that Zeke has against Ojuku's father that put us in this condition today? Why should Ojuku's father say that the son will rule me and this boy is nearly getting Biafra? It will never happen. Only African countries and the Haiti recognize Biafra. France, yes, give us diplomatic cover but they didn't come up openly to recognize because they all of them were waiting for the Zeke of Africa to declare my people, my people, today we are free. You will see all the whole entire, entire international community will come and back you up. Zeke was there looking out, looking how they are giving the people blockade. Our people belly, we are swelling up. Our people, we are dying. But he still carried one hatred in his head for Juku not to rise up to rule him. Look at us today. The problem we are having inside Nigeria under the, this umbrella of one Nigeria is Zeke. The problem we are having during the war and after the war is Zeke. And the problem we are facing today in Igbo land is Anambra State and Enugu State. As we are talking, there are people from Anambra State agitating for Biafra. People from Anambra State, don't call me now. I can't pick your call. Sorry, please. 
People from Anambra State agitating for Biafra. Agitating for Biafra. Even telling them Nam the Kalu, you will fail if you say there will be no election in Anambra State. Who is fooling who? Are you not fooling yourself? Why are you agitating for? Are you fooling yourself? Are you trying to torpedo the Biafra race for you to be agitating, telling us that you are among Biafra, but making the people to understand the need for them to participate in election? Which God are you worshiping? How many gods do you have in your backyard? You have Jesus, Avo, Aro, or whatever. How many? How many gods do you have? How many? I don't know. Either you choose to be free or you choose to remain slave and shut your mouth. Oyibo says, if you know that you will start something that you cannot be able to defend it tomorrow, shut up. Shut up your mouth. Why agitating for Biafra? And still, you carry Wajo, carry Nigeria for head, the waka, eh, give us referendum, give us Biafra. But you carry Nigeria for head, they go. We don't need Nigeria. Allow Nigeria to be on its own. Allow us to go. If you want to remain in Nigeria, as we are detected, we can do our referendum within ourselves without, without the federal government. Anambra State, come. Do let us do referendum within ourselves, whether you like Biafra or not. Make we know where we... Like, uh, as we do, I uh, don't River State, you go still, they talk, say, who authorized you to put us inside your mouth? If you don't want to follow, let us do it on our own. Even my people, if you people will agree with me, I have decoded another strategy to get Biafra. I have decoded another strategy to get Biafra. Even we may not need an Ambra state. We may need Imo state and Abia state. Quote me right, and others will come later because Bible made me to understand. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and other things shall be added unto you. Maybe the kingdom of God will be Imo and Abia, and the later, when they start seeing the benefit of the Biafra within these two states, they will try to apply, then join the race. I know why I'm saying this because if I depend on Anambra state people, they are ready to torpedo whatever I'm doing. And roast me tomorrow. Onye wezioku yeku e. Iwezioku ba ye bwe. You know. Our leader has advisors, and I know that some of advisors come from Anambra State. Yes. Let me tell you one thing. You know, I'm a strategic thinker. If something happens, I try to. Do one plus one and three plus three to know why that thing happened. <sighs> Have you asked yourself why did the military attack Namde now? Namde has lawyers. Nigerian court gave him immunity. But something happened. Something went wrong somewhere. Do you know what went wrong? To my own best of understanding. During the time they are having a meeting with these governors of Eastern Region, there are people, you know, in this world, and I'm at here, you know, nobody knows, uh, knows it all. That's why Oyibo says, Why do we fall? And I do ask my people, Why do we fall? <laughs> oh my people, so much love you guys. So oh, hey Biafra. Why do we fall? Why do you walk and you fall down? Why? One man in my village, one man, one old man in my village, we call him Arikata Da. Arikata Oruala. So ask yourself, why do we fall? Many may say that uh, gravity, the force of gravity. No, 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 no. There is a reason why. We do fall. We do fall so that we'll be able to rise up again and shine. Nam they have fallen today doesn't mean it's the end of Biafran issue. 
Now is just the beginning. Because the Biafran people is about to rise to shine more than they are shining today. Because I have decoded the codes to actualize Biafra. Yes. You know, Nam de Carlo try to Nam de Carlo try to respect this these governors. If I am one of his advisors, if they have a meeting, if they're calling for a meeting, 30 minutes before the time, you will reschedule that meeting to your own place where you prefer, to the hotel you prefer the most. Let them come there and meet you. They need you, not you. You didn't need, you doesn't need them. Because in those places you are having that meeting, Nigerian military intelligence are there monitoring, studying the whole discussion. Even, I believe that some of them may have earpiece where they will be giving them sensitive questions to ask Nam de Carlo. And the more you answer that questions, they will be able to decode where you are going and what your plans is. That is Oyibo. That's how white men work. If you commit crime now and Oyibo police invite you to their office, you will be in a room. You doesn't know that intelligent people are standing behind that place watching you from the glass, but you can't see them. They are seeing you. Every eye movement you make, every mouth movement, every body movement, everything, they will decode everything. And you will call Oyibo Abara. Oyibo is not Abara. Oyibo bring out time for something to study it, master it, and know how everything works. Oyibo asks you a question. You look up, look down, look right, look left. You're a liar. Whatever you vomit is lie. It will last. That one elementary side of it. You understand? And uh, our leader, maybe maybe this, such opportunity may call in again. If he wants to go for the, such a call, he needs to go and answer them with criminal lawyers. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know why I use criminal lawyers. You know, um, um, it's a mistake. It has happened. You know. But next time, if, if if people agitating for Biafra, if this leader calls you, invites you, take a criminal lawyer as your friend that will escort you to that place on that day. Question will come in. The criminal lawyer, his duty is to monitor every question that is being thrown to you or the issues being raised, how it was formulated to draw your leg out so that they will know where you are going you have to jump up past. I know that agents of Nigeria have gathered here now to listen the new strategy to get Biafra. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Okay, so now the thing that we are Omeka Anteno, we are no longer Omeka Anteno. Now we have to go underground. I believe in one thing. I believe in security, my people. I believe in security. I believe in security. Because this Biafran agitation is supposed to leave street by now. People should not be patrolling the street. Everything has to go underground and the Nigeria will be feeling heat. Nigeria will be feeling only heat, but there will be nobody for them to attack. But they will be feeling the heat of all the whole activities going underground. I will tell you people how to get Biafra without referendum. Because no country will willingly give you referendum date. <laughs> we, if we are talking before, we will tell you advance world do this, advance world do that. Look at what is happening in Spain. Catalonia participated in, 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 in referendum. Police battled them, beat them like they are in Nigeria. They box hell out of Catalonia people's mouth. They treat them like fifth class citizens of Spain. To tell you, advanced world, third world country, no country is ready to give you the date of referendum. So it left for us. You know one thing, we Igbos, because Igbos, we, are, we be calling Igbo because Igbos are the leaders of Eastern region. Anything that happened in East must involve Igbo man to be successful. 
even the river state people that do insult our people without ojuku they will not get 16 percent they are getting from federal government in as oil revenue nigeria wanted to give them six percent and ojuku jumped into that discussion and told nigeria is a lie ojuku battled it and they get 16 percent out of six he added 10 percent to tell you whatever Igbo man is doing, Yoruba man will wake up. I want the same thing. Other tribe will come. I want the same thing. Why must it be every time when we start saying things, when we start doing things, they will wake up? Because the brain is behind your brain. You know. Let me tell you something. I want. I will, my mouth is is scratching to tell you the strategy to get Biafra. But for the sake of uh, security, I would like to give you people a telephone number. <laughs> this telephone number, and uh, let me tell you again, you know, many people are using WhatsApp, thinking that WhatsApp is the most secure app on planet. It's a lie. Nigerian government have bought the software that hacks WhatsApp from Italy and from Israel. So they can drop on you anytime what they want. They can look into your WhatsApp chat. They can listen to every conversation going on on WhatsApp. But Nigeria has no access in one app. They call that app Signal App. If it will be possible for you to delete WhatsApp and download Signal, Signal, if you know how to write signal, the signal that goes on air, they call it Signal App. I will give you the website. It's signalapp.org. It's not .com, .org, o -R -G. Go on that site and download Signal App. No government on planet today can be able to hack onto this app I'm talking to you now. And every activist operating on that Biafran platform inside Nigeria, Everything you are doing on your phone, Nigeria is picking up every damn shit. Most of you are using these cheap Chinese make phones, Android. A child of 10 years here will hack your phone, even cripple your credit, delete everything you have inside that phone without your knowledge. It's inside your pocket. But if you download this app, I'm telling you, and another thing, try to put password pin code inside your phone <clears throat> no matter how cheap your phone is try to lock it with pin or you lock it with password <laughs> and uh, every activist operating on this in anything pertaining biafra go and download signal app let me give you the link now so that most of you will look into it and see what i'm saying Signal app, dear you are safe. I will give you the website so that you will be able, you will not make mistake and fall into the clone site and download the fraudulent ones. That is the app. You will use it to make call. You will use it to do everything you are doing on WhatsApp. And this app is more advanced than WhatsApp. This app, where is where is where is the thing I just sent now? okay it's there you can download it if you click on it it will take you to their site you if you have low network you can use this app to make call as if you are in somebody's name it's advanced more than uh, whatsapp so every activist every every um freedom fighter in nigeria that want your privacy go to signal app and drop whatsapp whatsapp has been compromised by nigeria that is one point if you download this app i will write nigeria number for you it's my nigeria number i'm using it here that is mtn save that number but please don't spam me if you spam, if you spam my phone i will block you stop spamming i will give this number out now it's mtn if you save it and download the signal app, if you do everything, it will tell you will see that I'm on signal app on this number. You write me that you want to belong to the inner underground.
chat group. And before I will allow you in, we will talk. We will talk. You will first interview. If you pass the interview, I will put you in. There, I will disclose, I will motivate. I'm not creating a new group out of IPOB or out of any Biafran group. No. Rather, my job, my job, I am a strategic thinker. My job is to feed you people with strategic method of, to, of doing things. Then you guys will go, do your thing. If you want to ask me question, call me, ask me, I will give you the best step to follow. If something is happening along the line, I will tell you how to handle it. Nothing is impossible on this planet. Everything is possible. Biafra will come, and it will come with heavy earthquake. Nobody will die. Nobody will die. Nobody will be harmed. But one thing you will promise me, we got to be like this. Together, we are more than powerful. Divided, the enemy will swallow us. But this plan that I'm holding now can only be achieved if we are united. Solid, united. Unity then whatever we are looking for will come. Because Nigeria, if you remember the video I made before, I tell Nigeria, don't cross a red line. They have crossed that red line. I, 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 I do listen to Nam the Kano. He said, either they give us a referendum date or there will be no election. <clears throat> but my own answer to that now, that Nam the Kano is nowhere to be found because I would not come on air to counter him. Rather, I could have, I think his own method, he has his own plan. But now he's not there now. I have to give you another strategy that will give you confidence that you should not be marveling that it's all over. It's not over. It's not over. Referee says, keep on playing until it's over. For now, don't be afraid. Maybe here, maybe let me be. You know, let me give you the Nigerian line. You may also call the line if you feel like. You no, know? I will also pick it here and we'll talk. But uh, download that signal app as soon as you can. Let me give you <clears throat> the inner Umuli email. So the number should be plus two, three, four. For us outside Nigeria, 814-375-2904. Let me repeat. For those in Nigeria, it's 0814-375-2944. Outside Nigeria, plus 234-814. 375-2944. The number is on its way to you people. Save it on your phone. Add this uh, um, download signal because the group will be on signal. Because signal group, you can be able to make call among the groups. You know, they have more capabilities. You know, as I have said now that everything will go underground. You see, the number of people watching have just do what decrease because many agents just rush in, carry their book and paper. Let us get their new strategy now and, <laughs> and, <laughs> and neutralize it. It will never work. We we'll have to go underground. Technology is here now to make everything possible. And uh, <laughs> you know one thing. Obama do say, or the word Obama said in Egypt, he said, you can never achieve peace with violence. Nigeria, you can never achieve peace with violence. The more aggressive you become, the more aggressive you become on our people, the more the whole strategy will change. 
that that's the response. And another thing, my people, don't tell people only that they should not go and vote on election day. Start teaching them the reason why they should not vote. Start making them to understand that you voting and collecting one bag of rice, you have sell your sovereignty, your freedom, your identity, your person to that governor for four good years. And if you didn't participate in the election, Oyibo will say, okay, these people really mean that they want to be free. Because Nigerian government are sending signet signatures to world leaders, showing them that you, 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 you are against Namde, that you don't want to leave Nigeria. We cannot participate with them on that. And the international community knows that they are lying. Because if these people doesn't want to follow Namde, why did you kill them? Why did you send military there? That is the question Oyibo is asking. Now, Oyibo wants to see on this election if you will still participate to prove that the government of Nigeria is telling them the truth. But if he doesn't participate, God will bless you. You will have your freedom without crying again. And the strategy that I'm about to build here now is for us all for us all. I am not in Nigeria. I am outside Nigeria. And where I'm living, I'm comfortable. I'm doing this thing. It's for your own freedom. Because if Oyibo hates you, Oyibo will deprive us all this thing we are seeing here now. People in Europe will be using this video call and video streaming. They will block it in Africa. But because you are being oppressed, because they know that your government is killing you, they open that channel for you to be able to, they call it I report, to report what you are seeing around your territory. So, I'll be waiting. If we all, over 100 and something people watching here now, are ready to go underground to set up a de facto government. <laughs> to set up a de facto government that Nigeria cannot push down. It will happen before their eyes. Those people that call themselves uh, political elite, look at these church rats. They want to come and take power from us. Who gave you the power from the first place? Ojo Zokalo, 1999, the first civilian governor after, uh, I think, uh, the Third uh, Republic. If, if somebody interview him, you are Igbo leader. Ojo Zokalo, through with the mantle of Igbo leadership before the whole entire world on air. And the man says, really? He said, yes before you again. You are not Igbo leader, but you want to go and meet in Nam Kano and discuss with him and Nigeria. And what rule, which rule are you trying to play? But you are not Igbo leader. I rebook you in Jesus' name. Let me pick this call and see what this sister is calling for. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Boss one. Two a key, man. Team on you. I'm going to have a team. Boss one and get more. Um, so, first governor, first civilian governor after military regime made it clear, open air, he's not an Igbo leader. Which people did you lead then? And why did he... Now, what is the problem of this lady calling me? Look, get out! Back Isha, on the mob, I don't know on Facebook, but we have a phone. Um, have you asked yourself, why did this governor throw away the mantle of leadership before the entire planet, before the entire world, listening and watching that video? Do you know why? Because a good leader 
never allow anything that will harm his people. A leader do care and protect the interests of his people. So all Jews are throwing that mantle out shows you that he's not ready to save you, care for you, nor seek anything that will bring good to you. He's there for pure business, buy and sell, no plus, no minus. If I would be, if I would be able to be in a position to tell Igbo people that are doing business with Ojo Kala, listening to that interview, and he said that he's not an Igbo leader, withdraw yourself, boycott whatever you are doing with him. Let him go to that Katori area and do his continue. They developed him. They build him up. They give him whatever he is today. Let him go to the northern Nigeria and do his things there. That's all I have for you, my people. God bless you. Remember, bless. Download Signal app. Reject WhatsApp. WhatsApp is good. You may leave it to your phone to, come, to talk normal thing. But if you're an activist, move away from WhatsApp and move to Signal for your own protection. Bye-bye for now. And all hey Biafra. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. Don't participate in election. No international community says that if you get up to 50-60% of vote, they will then do this one for you. No. International community are watching if you will participate in Nigeria that it doesn't want to be among them. So the best answer to everything is what? Reject election. Don't participate in election. Obiano is buying uh, granite from your store today. Since how many years did you see Obiano last in inside that market? And I heard that bulldozer is bulldozering people's um, business in Anambra State. Or with, yeah, Anambra State, I believe so. These people doesn't mean anything good for you. You see this, one of them said that he's not Igbo leader. You are not Igbo leader, but you people are good in leading the state. Chineke Gabunon. It shall never be well with those people who forget the 6 to 12, 15 million souls of their friends being starved to death by Nigerian government. Looking at those people and rejecting the freedom of their people till today, I said this, the spirit of those people will never let them rest. I saw Joseph Kahlo. He was talking and his nose is blocked. I said it. Upon that your nose is blocked, or upon that you're against the Biafra, doesn't mean that I will be against you. If you contact me, I will send you the thing that will open that your nose and it will not close again. Or if he doesn't do that, you may have heart attack. That's my message for you. God bless all of you. God bless Biafra and bless the Biafra people. And it shall be well with all of us in Jesus' name. Bye bye for now. Gathering the Biafra Namma. Mwah.